You are welcome to a new video lesson with Bright Edo. In today's video lesson, I'll be discussing about the case 2 to the empirical and molecular formula calculation lessons. Okay, this will be the case 2 whereby I've done the video lesson that explains case 1 and case 1 is on empirical formula determination when percentage is given that was the case one we discussed about in the previous lesson and you do well to watch that video lesson it's very very important the link to assess the video lesson will be up here so you click on the video link there okay whereby in the course of today's lesson we'll be talking about the case two on how to solve empirical formula when mass is giving now it is very easy now what are the steps to follow it is still similar to the case one we discussed previously and if you've not yet subscribed to this community you do well to hit the subscribe button and also share these video lessons with your friends now with all this said let us start now you can see that this concept or this case will be on determining empirical formula when mass is given. So how do we do that? It is still similar to the first case. And how do we solve practice questions pertaining to these aspects? You follow the steps I'll be taking you through in this video lesson. So let me read the question out so we can solve it together. And after solving, I'll solve another and I'll give you your own practice question to solve so that you'll be grounded in this aspect. So let's get into this video lesson. Now, the question says, an organic compound is made up of 0.72 grams of carbon. Now, you are not hearing something in this question. What are you hearing? Grams. And what is gram? Gram is mass. You know, in chemistry, the mass should most times be in grams, where in physics, mass is most times being in kilograms. So, let me read the question. It says, an organic compound is made up of 0.72 grams of carbon and 0.16 grams of hydrogen and 0.32 grams of oxygen. Calculate the empirical formula of the organic compound. And these are the atomic masses of the element. Now, first of all, what we have to do, we have to basically alight or bring out the elements involved forming this organic compound. And how many elements are here? Three elements. And what are they? It is simply, these are the elements. It is simply carbon. Okay, after carbon, I think I'm seeing hydrogen. And after hydrogen, the last element they mentioned is oxygen. So here becomes O. Now, the next step to follow is to simply, now, what are all these? These are the elements in the compound forming the organic compound. Well, here we entail the mass. Mass. Now, you can, you are not seeing now it's different. If you watch the well, the first case we discussed about on percentage, here I wrote mass of elements. In that particular video lesson, I wrote percentage because then percentage was given. Now, what are the mass of the element given? For carbon, what was the mass? 0.72 grams. So I'm, I'm to write that now. Okay, 0.72 grams for carbon. Well, hydrogen is 0.61 grams of hydrogen. And lastly, 0 uh, uh, 0.32 grams of oxygen. So here becomes 0 0.32 grams of oxygen. Now, the next step to follow is to divide by their atomic masses. These are the atomic masses. It's still the same step to the first case. Nothing changed. It's just that here is mass and the other was percentage. So here will be divide by atomic mass. And what are their atomic masses? Let's highlight them. The atomic mass of carbon is 12, so we'll divide by 12. Whereby the atomic mass of hydrogen is 1, and the atomic mass of oxygen is 16. So first of all, let's bring all these values out. Now, let's quickly press our calculator to get a values for all this representation. So for carbon, is 0.72 grams over 12. That's 0.06. 
So here becomes 0 0.06, okay? Now here, when you divide, I think you are having the same number, which is 0 0.16. And lastly, what are we having here? We are having, let's press the calculator, 0.32 over 16, that is 0.02. So here is 0.02. This is the number of moles we've gotten for all the elements forming the organic compound. Now, next step, which is almost the last step, is to divide by the smallest. So we divide by the smallest. Now, the question will ask me, what is the smallest value looking at these three values? Which is the smallest? Is it 0 0.06? Is it 0 0.16? Or 0 0.02? Which is the smallest? The smallest is basically 0 0.02. Yes, it is the smallest value. So we'll divide through by this number, 0 0.02. So let's divide all through by this 0 0.02. So let's work with this. 0 0.06 over 0 0.02. 0 0.06 divided by 0 0.02. That's 3. Yes. That's three. So these values we are not getting now, they call it mole ratio, okay? So here we're having three. Let's work with this. Uh, 0.16 over 0.02, that's eight, okay? And lastly, I think when we divide this by this, we are getting one, yes, because 0.02 divided by 0.02, that is one. So you can see that we're putting the mole ratios of these elements, okay? Whereby our chemical formula of the organic compound becomes, you know, for carbon, we had three as the mole ratio. So here it becomes three. Well, for hydrogen, we had eight, okay? And for oxygen, we had one. So this is the empirical formula of this organic compound. You know, best to write it as just because one is negligible, I remove the one to write that C3. H8O. Okay, this is the empirical formula of the organic compound. Why is it the empirical formula of the organic compound? Because remember, when in the first video lesson, I told you all that empirical formula is the simplest formula of a compound. So it is the simplest way that particular compound can exist. So the question we ask ourselves, can I break this compound further? No. So this is the correct empirical formula of this organic compound because it cannot be split in. It cannot be broken down. Okay, so it is the simplest form this organic compound can exist. So you can see how questions like this are being tackled without stress. So let's get into another practice question. Okay guys, this is the practice question you will be solving and you provide the answer in the comment section below. And if you've not yet subscribed to this channel, do well to hit the subscribe button and also share these video lessons with your friends. Thanks for watching.